Hello everyone, I'm Gareth from Master 974 back again today doing another Valve Hammer tutorial. This time around I'm going to be demonstrating how you can actually put Half-Life 2 beta maps into the Half-Life 2 retail engine. So this is very similar to the cube map reflection video where I don't really talk about what to do in the Hammer editor but something that you can eventually do in the Hammer editor or something that requires Hammer editor usage to begin with. So. First things first, you can go to uh, hl2-beta.ru which is Half-Life Project Beta's website which I have mentioned in the past when covering um, mod playthroughs of Air Exchange and City 17 and all that. And one thing you want to look into is this Half-Life 2 Beta Mega build. It is 3.58 gigabytes inside so it, it, you know it's a hefty download. It does contain a lot of stuff and it's organised by um, year and stuff like that. Uh, it has leak nets and mega patch and all that. So you know it is a hefty download but when you get it it will be a .iso file as you can see here on my desktop and all you want to do in order to use it is just mount it and then it should load into your disk drive. So here for instance we got our disk drive and then what we want to do is just run the application and you can install it and in my case I've installed it to my program files x86 and it's under Anon HL2 and then once you go into it you can see that we have all of this uh, content here all um, branched off by year and even got Half-Life 1 stuff in there somewhere uh, and what we want to do is go into this thing called VMF Updater because what this will do is it basically takes the beta maps in VMF format and updates them to be able to be used in the retail Half-Life 2 engine. So what we'll do here is if we'll go to load file and what we're going to do is break it basically to our um, directory which is a game program it can it, you in the install you basically put this wherever the hell you want to in my case I put it under program files x86 and an HL2 and then say we want to go to I don't know 2001 to 2002 we can go under maps the SRC for instance and you can see that there's this uh, lovely selection of maps here so if I wanted to I don't know say load up Proto Citadel Skybox for instance then I can just load that in we can just click update and then what that will do is it will resave the map so if I go to um, what you may have seen I have SDK maps here so if I wanted to I could um, save this as Proto Citadel Skybox which is the name of the map right but one important thing to do here is we we have to add the .vmf extension even though it saves it as a vmf file here it doesn't actually save it as a vmf file so what we want to do is actually add the file extension to the end of it and if we click save then what we should notice is if we go to our um, SDK maps directory or in my case it's my SDK maps directory then what we should see is that we have a map called proto citadel skybox.vmf right here at the bottom and so what we can do now is navigate to our half-life 2 directory which is under program files steam steam apps common half-life 2 bin and then you can load up the hammer editor from there as you can see I'm doing that right now uh, go into hammer the application it should load up a batch file telling you which version of Half-Life 2 you want to be booting into so most people would probably go into Half-Life 2 episode 2 since that's the most updated engine but in my case I only have Half-Life 2 installed so it just boots straight into the Half-Life 2 directory and so basically we can go to our SDK maps directory here and go into Proto Citadel Skybox. That should load the map up perfectly fine. 
Um, so what I'll do is auto size and then we can move around and as you'll see here um, it's the old brush based citadel but um, as you'll see here there's a lot of missing textures here because these are textures that were only ever used in the beta so one thing you can do to rectify this if you really wanted to is what I would do is go into map and check for problems and what it will do is it will give you a list of all of the textures that are missing so what you can do is navigate to your beta folder and look for these textures so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Anon HL2 under HL2 it will contain all of the stuff that you would need and in this case it says oh you need composite building set 009A which is right here you only get a material file and a texture file in this case you might get stuff like specularity maps or something like that but anything related to that texture that's missing you can just select it and in my case I'm just gonna click copy now what we're gonna do is go over to our bin folder which is over here I'll try and move it out of the way and what we want to do is basically paste these files into the exact same directory so we go to half-life 2 we want to create a new folder called materials and then we go into materials we want to create one another folder called composite exactly like the texture um, path if that makes sense so we're basically recreating the uh, the path exactly we can paste in the necessary files and then if we go back to hammer then it's not necessarily going to fix it right off the bat but if you paste in all your textures and then reload the map then it should look exactly as it's um, supposed to so uh, you can go to concrete floor 24c so exactly the same process we just go to the half-life 2 beta folder that we have we go under concrete we look for concrete floor 24c so we're gonna have to go down a little bit here but as you see once we get to 24c then we just select the files that we want we copy them over to our half-life 2 uh, retail directory so it is a bit of a painstaking process to go through all of this but um, sometimes files will be in the same directory so all you have to do is just find the files in the same folder and just copy and paste them across but as you see there now concrete floor 24c is done and you can go through for all of the um, textures as you see there's a lot of 24c there um, so you'll see a lot of that there's concrete wall 11b for instance so what I'll do is I'll just go back here we can scroll down and you'll see concrete wall 011b is up here somewhere right here so could just copy these over into the same concrete directory in retail half-life 2 and there we go that's all we have to do so if you're wondering as well then these are files that you can open I do believe I have a software that allows you to open this so if you wanted to actually see what the texture looked like then there is a software you can download called VTF edit and um, that's what it's called I think it's like one of NIMS tools and um, that allows you to load up these texture files so you can see exactly what you're looking at and there's also the corresponding material file that gives you the information about the texture and how it's used so for instance it's a, a concrete surface prop and it's going to be under air exchange and city 17 industrial it tells you where the actual texture is it's in concrete and it's concrete wall 11b and it gives you a detail as well so that's something as well um, so what I'll do is I'll probably make a little cut here and I'll copy and paste in all of these materials and then show you what the map looks like when all the materials have been fixed okay everyone so now I've gone ahead and copied over all of the textures so in this case there was only one where there was an additional file called metal pipe 
011 old mask. That is something that's needed for the texture to work properly. So what we can do is after we've put all of the um, necessary textures in, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to navigate back to where the hammer application is. And what we can do is essentially just close out of the editor in its entirety. And we're going to load back into the editor, reopen the map, and then hopefully what we should see is that all of the textures have been fixed so it looks how it's supposed to as you can see it looks a bit like this so that's what the old citadel would have looked like with all the necessary textures it looks exactly as it should of course we have um, lights in that as well now I don't know if there's anything like models and all that because one thing you have to note as well is that if you're dealing with a map that has models then what would happen is you'll probably get a whole bunch of error messages saying that the models just aren't there but you can't just go ahead and copy the models over because of compatibility issues so the leaked models have a certain version number and what are required to work in Half-Life 2 Retail is um, like a higher number basically. I don't know the number of versions exactly but that's going to cause some compatibility issues and if you do that then Hammer refuses to open the map that you have. It will just force crash immediately. So what you need to do is venture out and get something different. So in my case what I would recommend you do is if you go under Half-Life Project Beta's website again you can go under Half-Life 2 Retail and underneath modifications I believe it is what you can do is actually get the missing information 1.6 global pack and this is essentially missing information 1.6 but you get extra maps and extra content with it and it might just be in a compressed file format so it's probably not an ISO but like a .7z or a .ra file or something or .zip even. So you can download that, extract it and your models will be in there if you need them. You have to copy the models and the materials for the models in order for it to work. Alternatively what you can do is if you go under Half-Life 2 Retail Models and Textures then there should be a leak model pack that you can get um, say leak prop models ported for retail on page two and this is essentially a pack which has all of the well not all but some of the leaked models which you can use in retail uh, but not all of them are there which is why I recommended um, missing information as well since some of the models may be in there if you need them that's more if you're you know porting over mod you know maps which have models in them so for instance d4 palace 01 which is a version of palace that i've been trying to fix up personally um using the original skybox and all that which i might do a playthrough of sometime if i can actually get all the models and materials back in place but some of them you need from the leak model pack which i showed you and some you might need from missing information since missing information has some of the models as well and other times if you don't have anything then you're kind of screwed because there's no real way to just port over the leak models into retail engine uh, unless there's a methodology to do so but I don't know what it is. But ladies and gentlemen for that being said and done uh, that has been how you can take Half-Life 2 beta maps and put them into Half-Life 2 Retail for you to play around with and copy paste stuff if you really wanted to. So hopefully you found this helpful. I am 85,000G and all that and um, I'll be seeing you next time for whatever it is I decide to do. Have a great day and all that. Hopefully this helps and see you later.